How to divide root rectangles into equal parts using GeoGebra. In this applet, I've given you a rectangle, and the only reason the show button's there is to show that this is a root 3 rectangle originating from this square, like you've seen before. So this is not resizable. This is just going to be a static root 3 rectangle. But do the following. That is, create a diagonal. It could be in either direction. I'm going to go from A to H. And then I'm going to create a perpendicular from the other vertex perpendicular to the diagonal. That's one click on the vertex, one click on the diagonal. And it's at this point here that if I construct up perpendicular to create yet another rectangle within, one click point, one click segment, then what we get is another root 3 rectangle. We can continue this by creating a perpendicular from this vertex to the diagonal and where it makes contact I can make yet another rectangle like this. And now I have three root 3 rectangles all congruent so that is one root 3 rectangle broken into three congruent root 3 rectangles. And what's also fascinating is you can continue breaking in this root 3 rectangle or the one on the other end by taking this point and basically turning our construction on its side and create a perpendicular from there to this line. And now here is a root 3 rectangle. And we could go this way, creating that same perpendicular again. Think sideways now. And from this point, I can finish another root 3 rectangle. So now this one has been subdivided into three smaller congruent root 3 rectangles. Kind of looks like the grid we had once before. And then this one again could go on and make yet another. In fact, if we focus just on this one, we could continue the process of making a root 3 rectangle right here. And what we'll have is a large root 3 rectangle followed by a smaller one, followed by a smaller one, and sort of create a spiral of root 3 rectangles, if you will. Oh, it goes on ad infinitum. And spirals, a discussion that will happen at a later lesson. Constructing a congruent, or how to divide root rectangles into equal parts. Thank you.